Welcome to the Global Love and Gratitude Grid. This is your host, Brian Besco, with Twisted Sage Studios and TwistedSage.com. This is Light Anchoring 3.0. So as always, we begin from within the sacred space of the heart. So as you put your attention to your physical heart and your light within the heart, we simply send our light down into the earth, all the way down, connecting to that heart of Mother Earth. And as we take in that deep breath, we breathe in that unconditional loving energy of the earth right into the heart. Next, we connect with Source, Soul, Creator, God, Central Sun, however you see and say that. And we take that second breath, breathing in that energy from Source, Soul, Creation, God, right into the heart. The third breath we breathe in from both earth and sky, bringing both of those energies together within you, within the heart, and sending them back so that you are a column of light grounded into the earth, connected to source, soul, creation, God, and you are that connecting point and you are in the heart space. As you stand within the sacred space and you are within the heart, I ask that you visualize your soul standing before you to me, the soul usually presents as this golden light body being. Just ask your soul to activate that sacred heart and it puts its hand right on your chest, right on your heart, and it just activates that golden flame heart, the sacred heart. And as that golden fire flows within your heart, and through every cell of your being. We are then ready to anchor the columns of light. So next, picture yourself standing where it is that you're going to be anchoring a column of light. Whether it is in your home, in your work, in your school, or at a local water tower, or at a local communications tower, or in a cemetery, wherever it is that you're going to create this column of light, imagine yourself standing fully right there. And as you're standing in that space, again, just breathing in that energy of earth into the heart, the energy of source, soul, creation, God into the heart. The third breath, you become that column of light. As you become that column of light, I'm handing you this golden light rod. It is the golden light wand. It simply helps to create another aspect of energy, the golden light. So as you are holding this brass rod in your hand, it too becomes a column of light, grounded, connected. So as you are grounded, connected, and there's this brilliant column of light that is you, that is the golden fire, that is the golden light wand. See this encompassing everything that you're working on, whether it is the building, the water tower, the communications tower, the diameter of this column of light can be any size that you see or intend. So again, just seeing it, intending it, and it is there. Now then step out of that column and leave that column in that space that you created it. Beautiful. That is it. That column of light now will hold. It is the golden fire, the golden light. It is the infinite light of source creation, 
the infinite light of the earth. It is all there. This column of light will transform waterways. It will transform water. It will transform communication towers, bringing through the energies of the sacred heart, the golden fire, the field of universal peace. All of that comes through those waves now of the communication tower, changing that to be a healthful and beneficial transmission. If you put this into a school or a cemetery, it'll do the sacred heart activation with all of those present, whether they are in the physical or not. As it does that for like, let's say a ghost, a wayward, their soul comes in takes them across. This is a huge service. We can change the entire planet by anchoring these columns of light. They will stay there indefinitely if needed. Thank you for your service. It is a service to all of humanity, to earth and beyond. Much love and gratitude.